Hello everybody and welcome back to my Learn Scratch channel and today we're going to be talking about the control category. So we're going to be so the control category has lots of loops and you can even con make clones of sprites. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and learn about this control category. So in the control category we are going to be using all these loops and making an animation, like some of them, because we can't use all of them. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's talk about the control blocks. So the wait one seconds block is a normal block. You can just use it. You can um, you can put something in the circle instead of one. You can change the number or add operators, which I'll be talking about in another video. And so let's talk more about the control category. So the repeat loop, you can change how many times it can repeat stuff. Like it can repeat code, whatever code you put here and put it in, in an animation, it'll make something repeat over and over and over again for as long as you want and it, and it depends on what this number is in this box over here like the circle so the forever loop can make things do for thing it can do something forever whatever put code you put here it's, it's kind of same like this one if then blocks are like if something happens, then you will do something. So you can put an operators there and add something to the operator. If then or else is is kind of like the same thing as if then, but it just has else. Because if else, then it will not do whatever code you really wanted to. When whatever code you wanted to, when you put it in else then it will do that code. So wait until you can put another operators here and repeat until you can put another operators here. You can add lots of operators in these hexagons over here inside these. And stop all means that you'll stop everything in the code. And when I start as a clone, so these are the clone blocks. So when I start as a clone, this is another events, but it's in the uh, control. I don't know why, but it looks like in a head block, but still it's a head block. So when I start as a clone, you can create clone. You can create a clone and you can move it around. So then there's delete this clone, which means it'll delete the clone that you have currently made. When I start as a clone, it just starts all the code when you create clone of yourself and, and by using one of the events blocks or under some block after the events block. So then the so then when we delete this clone, we can delete it, create clone of myself, and it will show other sprites. It might show other sprites. Let's see if it does, because I've never tested out. I've never tested it. So let's go ahead and see. Now, let's see if it, yep, you can change the clones. You can make clones of other sprites. And stop all, you can change it to this script, others or other scripts in the sprite. And if you want all, it'll stop every single thing in the project. So now, and we can talk about so let's make a project with these control blocks so wait one second we are going to be changing costumes but i'll teach you more about costumes later so first let's start with this when wait one second and when green flag clicked blocks then we go to the looks category and drag out next costume. Then we get a forever loop because we're going to be doing this forever. And but we're going to be adding more animation here. So wait one second. Next costume forever. But we're going to take another event this time to make it a little bit tiny, itty bitty bit more advanced. So when space key pressed, we are going to be making something happen. That means so it's going to say hi. It's kind of like the last project, but then 
it says um what's no it says uh what animal do you like so it's going to be like a question one so first we're going to start with an if then block an if then block and then we're going to do this operator with a blank equals 50 but we're going to change that so answer if answer what so so if answer so then we're going to make a variable but if you don't know what a variable is a variable is something that you can use to also kind of like it's kind of like broadcast message but you can add variables whenever you want so for all sprites or this sprite only you can set them so i can tell you about that later in my one of one of my next videos we're going to be talking about variables and how they can be used and what do you do in the variables and what can you do in the variables so let's go ahead and make a variable called animal then hide this by making the tick go go away by pressing it then animal press this if animal equals answer so set animal to zero first but then set animal to answer when you ask when when they say it so now we're going to ask which means make make this, uh, ask a question and then you have to answer the question in the box so now let's go ahead and see what um so then we're going to um add an answer to see what does he say when um when we say that wow how about wow i like this animal too so that's it so that's a very simple project isn't it but it does next costume the whole time see but we can change the second Change it to 0 0.2, 0 0.1. I don't know. It can be anything. As long as it's a type of number. I'm doing some exercise. For my paws, but I wanna ask you something. So it's gonna be you're gonna be like, what do you wanna ask? And then it'll ask the question. So that sounds really cool, right? You can do anything with the for, with the um control category. You can use all these loops. These are called loops, by the way, whatever the forever thing is, repeat, repeat until, if then, if then, or else, that's a big loop. That's a double loop, actually. That's a double loop. They call these double loops. And so now, let's go ahead and end the video. Oh, yeah. I know it's sad to end the video, but we still have to end the video because I have to prepare for other videos. Yeah. So anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and don't forget to m not miss out on any of my amazing on sketch videos. And you can share this with your friends too. Thanks for watching and bye. I'll see you in the next amazing tutorial or um, like whatever I'll talk about for the next category. Bye.